Hello everyone and welcome to class of 5G architecture. Today in this class we will discuss about 5G architecture. So 5G architecture is built on ETSI NFV principles. So it is built on European Telecommunication Standard Institute Network Function Virtualization principles. And also it depends upon the various entities as it extend up to introduction of end to end that means e to e service management and orchestration module e to e service management and orchestration orchestration module as well as we are having programmable controller in order to flexibly configure and control virtualized and physical network functions. We call it as VNFs, virtualized network functions and PNF as physical network functions. So here there is an introduction like we are having a programmable controller also. So let's uh, discuss about this architecture of 5G. So the very first plane is a service plane. So this is service plane. And service plane we are, ha are having basis and policies decision. BSS and policies decision, we have applications and services. Applications and services. So these are connected to a next which is our management and orchestration plane. So another one we are having as this management and orchestration second plane as management and orchestration plane. So in this plane we are having end to end service management and orchestration. This is connected to application and services as well as BSS decision and policies. Service management and orchestrator is connected to network function virtualization NFP orchestrator. NFP orchestrator. So this is also connected here also we will make after that. So this orchestrator is connected to VM which is virtualized machine. VNF uh, virtualized machine is connected to a manager we call it as virtualized network function manager. It is connected to virtualized. Now it is further connected to a module. M. We are having a OSSL network management, OSS and network management. So this is further connected to service management and orchestration. Virtualized, uh, this is further connected to like we are having another plane, we call it as this one as control plane. So in control plane, we are having shared control layer functions, shared control 
layer functions shared control like we are having some physical network function we are having a virtual network functions vnf and these are further connected next play it is shared uh, shared control layer functions so we are we are having here in this part we are having a controller say this is programmable controller management and orchestration is connected to and this machine is also connected to programmable controller next here in the control plane we are having a network slice specific uh, dedicated control slice specific dedicated control functions like various virtual network functions physical network Now uh, we are having a last plane. We call it as data plane. So we are having service management and orchestration control and the data plane. Here we have we are having shared data layer functions, with the various functions. So we will call shared data layer functions, which controls various PNF, VNFs, etc. And here we are having network slice. network slice specific dedicated data functions dedicated data control functions these are further connected to dip so this is architecture which is proposed by etsi thank you so much we will continue with this in our next class